Hey guys, I'm Mount Ernst. Um, it's bad for me right now. I want y'all to understand. Um, Lyft destroyed my body. And I can't blame Lyft. I'm gonna just say I destroyed my body because I chose to do Lyft. It wasn't Lyft's fault. But yeah, you gotta understand guys, I lost about 12 pounds in a month and a half, which is dangerous. Already being underweight because of me doing these gig apps 24 seven for the past seven out of nine years of my life. So you gotta understand, let me tell y'all this, okay? When I was um, doing Lyft, I started doing it hardcore on the 6th of December, okay? Because I had money that I converted sports betting and I turned like 110 into like $700. I'm thinking, I'm back. So I spent the first six days of December, instead of working um, the apps, um, sports betting. And then when I ended up losing that money because I didn't want to stop, um, I'm like, I got to grind hard. It's about to be Christmas. So I grinded from the 6th all the way up until I quit that challenge on like the 7th of uh, January. I worked every single day. And then when I wasn't working, it was only one day that I didn't work because my cousin um, showed me love and gave me like 400 bucks, um, you know, to take the New Year's Eve off, even though I still worked a few hours after. Um, I literally slaved, you know, every day. And then when I had my um, family here, you know, Sabrina, I still slaved. When I, I tried to slave around being, you know, around her a little bit to you know, hang out because I knew she was going to be going. But the point of the matter is this. I did damage to my body. Because some days I didn't eat but like a cheeseburger and a, a large fry. Cheeseburger, no pickle, no mustard, extra ketchup, large fry, and a medium Coke. That's all I ate for the whole day from McDonald's. And then I would have some days I would eat a Popeye's meal. I only had one meal a day usually. And some days I didn't eat nothing but like a TV dinner. So you gotta understand, when you have a whole week of only eating one meal a day, not even eating breakfast, and then you're like working between work, these apps, and YouTube, 16 hours each day and you only sleep in six to seven hours each day like you feeling like crap i did that for like a month and i did serious damage to my body i'm trying to recover right now my nose won't stop running um my stomach keeps turning even after eating a lot of food like i'm seriously trying to stuff food down my throat pause um all day every day because of the fact um i'm so underweight right now like i gotta recover before i go to this hawaii trip due to the fact that i don't want to be there like Luggage, um, sluggish and, and out of breath because right now, you know, I'm sleeping longer than I, I'm supposed to. And you know, it's crazy. I wake up like last night, I went to sleep at two o'clock in the morning and then I um, woke up at like eight feeling fresh and good. And now I think I'm going to just start staying up and just, you know, try to get through the day because I know I can. But you know, what happens is when I go back to sleep, try to get that last hour or two of sleep um, before I get up, it makes me tired, make me not want to get up. Okay. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with me not having a healthy diet. I don't have energy. I just don't have energy. I'm trying to recover. My body's trying to recover from that torture. It got used to not eating. So now that like I'm not straining my brain and my body like I was with rice here, mind you, a lot of people might not think that's work, but that is work. You're grinding, okay? Um, you have a situation where um, I'm suffering. I'm suffering. I'm suffering. So I'm eating now. Uh, more than ever, you know, like yesterday I had this um, this meal you heat up, whatever, and then, you know, it's instantly ready. I ate like two big plates of this meal. I had to stuff the second plate down my throat once again. And I felt good, but I still felt hungry. Like I'm to the point that I'm about to heat up this rice and take eight ways of rice and heat up a bunch of rice and just eat rice and chicken and like just eat bulk food, like potatoes, like just cut a bunch of potatoes up and eat potatoes. I might just stuff food down my throat so that way I can like put my weight back on and get healthy you know, again, because it really took its toll on my body. That's the reason why I can't really even think. Like, you know, when I was doing ride share, the reason why my videos were lit was because I was to the point of quitting and people were loving that. But when I was like making videos prior to that, they weren't cooking unless I was like going at people because I was so angry at life that I couldn't even think about positive things to talk about half of the time because of the fact I was just out of it. And I was trying to force myself to act like I was happy, act like I was, I was saying literally, Guys, stop telling me that I can't make this money. I can't work 12 hours. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. I was literally saying that because I wouldn't get over the fact that this was just not safe, dangerous, literally. So right now, you know, as you can see, I'm so frail. And, you know, I saw that I was nasty frail yesterday when I had on that dress shirt. And I saw that, like, it was so much um, space in between it and between the sides of it. I'm like, this ain't it because I've never been this small before. I mean, I've been small like this, maybe like in high school, but I've never been this small. I'm like 138 right now. You know, prior to doing that, like lift 
in December. I was like 149, 151. I was between those uh, digits at all times. Now I'm like 138. That's unhealthy for a 6'3 guy, 6'3 and a half guy. So I want y'all to understand, that's the reason why um, I'm all about now trying to eat, trying to do push-ups, trying to work out, and trying to get it because that's just dangerous. And I hope a lot of y'all that are dealing with the same thing I'm dealing with, trying to chase this money that just ain't worth chasing. You got to figure, guys, we're literally not even making minimum, we're not even making minimum wage half the time. You know, we're working all these hours and we're suffering, we're, 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 we're struggling. And we do it in the hope of, um, you know, us winning in the end. But in reality, you're never going to beat the apps. The apps are always going to have the advantage. They're always going to be um, one step ahead of us. You know, they always find a way to get us suckered in. I showed you all that algorithm the situation, the bonus that um, Spark tried to hit me with. And then after I did the math, I realized that if I do and the, the Spark and try to make the money with Spark, I'm probably going to spend about eight hours trying to hit the six rides, which in reality would only pay me, what, $25 an hour, okay? And then if you think about that, um, that's going to be, you know, equivalent of $20 an hour after gas. What's the point at that point? What's the point? And most of the time, they're going to try to make sure that that six ride for the bonus you don't get until the next day because they know the next day if you come to get that one ride, you're not going to just be done. You just drove a half an hour to start, 45 minutes to go do some work because that's the closest Walmart. No, you're going to keep going for the day. And then now you're not making no money. You're going to be back into the system. That's the reason why I didn't choose that. And then with Lyft, what's going to happen? I see it already on um, Discord. I'm sorry, not Discord, but um, Reddit. Uh, I know I said it wrong. Kelly girl can get my neck. But um, what happens is you sit there and you see these um, bonus offers. Like they're sending out like 80 rides for like, and you get an extra 950 bucks. You would be stupid not to do that. You know, you got four days to hit 80 rides and you make $994 or $980. You are stupid not to do that. And if that offer comes to me, you better believe as much as I say I quit and I'm never going to do it again, I'm going to jump on that because that's what it gets you. But it's going to be up to me and Kylie Girl to push me to not do more than what I, what I, I see right there, which would be 80 rides, $980. Because guess what? If I do 90 rides, guaranteed $980, I just got to make sure I take all $4 rides. I can knock that out quick. I get the difference. It's all about trying to make the tip money. But 90 rides with tips, you're making, you know, um, the 980 or 960 guaranteed. And then on 90 rides, you're gonna get at least, let's say $200 in tips, worth the tips. You know, that's the equivalent of like, what would that be? Um, 90 rides, that'd be equivalent of $2.50 per ride per tip. Maybe at 200, maybe 150. So now you're making, you know, $1,100 on 90 rides in four days. That's $250 a day for the most part. Um, you know, and you can knock out 90 rides in like four days. It's going to only take you like eight hours each day. But then with that, is it worth it? Is it worth it? With gas and your time, you still might end up under minimum wage. Because remember, this is a minimum. Actually, I, I'm not going to cut it. I got it wrong. You get the 920 on top of the 90, 90 rides money. So with 90 rides, you're doing 40, uh, $4 rides, $5 rides. You're now making 500 bucks minimum and then you get the 950. So now you make 1450. And what, 40 hours? It'll only take you 40 hours to do that. Who wouldn't do that? that you'd be stupid not to do that. It's like $33 an hour. That's what it gets you. Maybe I might have to look past that, maybe not do that. Or maybe go get that car and go do that. But when time comes, we're gonna see if I'm strong enough to not fall back into the trap, because what they're gonna do is give me a bunch of rides and have me like thirsty thinking this is a way because I don't think I have enough control because I'm so addicted to it to only do one week and take advantage of that bonus because they're trying to suck me back in. I'm probably gonna try to do another week with no bonus. So I might not be able to do that. But back to the point, because I gotta do my live guys. Um, just know I'm seriously malnutrition. Um, I'm underweight, I'm trying to get right. So you're gonna see me um, doing and making a bunch of attempts to ultimately get right with myself, um, with my body and my mind. And um, if any of you guys got any ideas, any tips on putting on weight, you know, I talked to a uh, kind of girl and she, the biggest thing she said is water. I've been drinking more water the past few days, only water. I did slip, I did cheat, I did have a half a Coke, 20 ounce Coke. And I'm actually gonna give Cali girl the last of these Cokes that got in the refrigerator. That way I don't get, um, I don't get, you know, I have vices. 
Coke is one of my vices. I don't want to get to the point of doing Coke, you know, drinking Coke. I said doing Coke, drinking Coke. So I'm going to um, get rid of the Coke, all the juice that's in the refrigerator, and I'm only going to have water here. I'm going to only have water and juice, healthy juice, organic juice, or whatever it would be, orange juice, whatever. That's what we're going to do. Now, now I'm only buying healthy food. I'm not buying no more pr processed food after I eat this food that's refrigerated. And I'm actually, I talked to a girl, I'm working on possibly doing a meal plan with one of these companies that will send you food, um, you know, food for um, each day of the week. And then that way I'll be on a, a diet. Um, when you hit it, hit the side value button. Don't, don't, don't um, decline automatically. I don't want her to know that I'm... I got it, I got it. Okay, thanks. It was the same person? I got it. Same person? Jesus Christ. Uh, people stress me sometimes, guys. People stress me. But with that said, um, look, I'm about to go on my live. Um, if you got tips, put them in the comments below. Hit the like button if you think that I can make this happen. If you think I'm strong enough to make this happen. You know, I'm trying to get rid of my addictions here. My addictions is Lyft and it's, um, you know, terrible food. And I'm going to like try my best now to, like I said, that meal plan might be it. Because the meal plan, what they do is send you fried fish, chicken. They send food each, each, like every two or three days. And they send you the recipe to make it. And I think that'd be best for me because I don't know exactly the calorie count. This food can be like organic possibly. It can be all natural. You know, it's like good. Instead of me going to a grocery store and I buy like, most of the food you get from the grocery store is bad. And if it's not bad, it's super expensive. And I can't afford at this point to spend, you know, one meal 20 bucks. But the meal plan, the meal to like five bucks to feed two people. But with that said, that's all I got. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Tuning in, tuning in, tuning in. I'll be back with more. I'm out. Peace.